in this case we have two groups we have students and we have faculty in order to calculate the interquartile range for each group you simply take q3 minus q1 in this case you're already given the five number summary which you should see where that comes from based on the stem and leaf plots that i give you but for the students the q3 value is seven the q1 value is one so the interquartile range is 6. This is actually a measure of dispersion. It measures how spread out the data are. For faculty, it's the same idea. It's still IQR is Q3 minus Q1. In this case, the faculty Q3 value was 31. Q1 was 15. So that gives us a difference of 16. So in this case, you can see there's more variability in faculty than in students. Um, and this is another measure of, of dispersion, and it does allow us um, a little better measure than a typical range because it does get rid of that problem of extreme values. And notice with the faculty data, there is an extreme value. There is an extreme value of 73. Uh, that is one major weakness of the range is it is very, very sensitive to those extreme values.